And well, it's all eyes on Sri Lanka where early results indicate a win for Anura Kumara Desanayake. Official results of the landmark presidential polls are expected to be announced later today. Early trends show Anura Kumara Desanayake leading with close to 50% of the vote. Sajid Premadasa has over 25% and Ranil Vikramasinghe is in the third position with just over 16%. Votes have so far been counted for 35 of the 160 polling divisions. So these are early trends that we're bringing to you right now. Counting is underway amid tight security. The Election Commission has been praised for holding what many observers described as the most peaceful elections in Sri Lanka. The big focus remains the three anticipated preferential contestants, Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe, main opposition leader Sajid Premadasa and Marxist-leaning challenger Anura Kumara Desanayake. The election is widely seen as a referendum on Rajapaksa's successor Ranil Vikramasinghe, who has restored some stability through austerity policies backed by the IMF. On the other hand, the measures, including tax hikes, have left millions struggling to make ends meet and are unpopular with many voters in Sri Lanka. Well, for more on this, our correspondent Dasuni Athola is joining us live on the broadcast from Colombo. Hi, Dasuni. You've been bringing us uh, the polling results, the early trends since morning. And now there are 45 percent of uh, vote, votes for Anura Kumar Desanayake compared to 29 percent for Sajid Premadasa earlier. Desanayake was at 52 percent. These are early trends with 35 of the 160 polling divisions counted. How are you assessing and reading these early trends coming in? Well, in your latest, uh, we just received a district final result just mere moments ago, and that was the Hambantota district final. So this is the overall uh, culmination of uh, votes in that district, which shows a 51.96% votes for or in favor of Andhra Kumar Gisanayaka. That is a total of 221,913 votes for Andhra Kumar Gisanayaka in the Hambatutu district. Coming in second is Sajid Premadasa with 30.79% of the total votes, and that amounts to 131,503 votes. Incumbent President Ranil Vikramasinghe has secured the third spot in the Hambantota district with 7.78% of total votes, that amount to 33,217. We are just 21 more districts away from understanding who will be Sri Lanka's next president. Radha Suni, while the votes of 35 out of 160 polling divisions have been counted, uh, we are perhaps seeing that the race is narrowing down between NPP's Anura Kamara Desanayake, who was earlier at 52%, but now at 45.33%, compared to Sajid Premadasa, who was earlier hovering around 22%, but he has now, he's now at 29.13%. Right, there seems to be some technical glitch uh, right now with our correspondent Dasuni Athola. Dasuni, if you can hear us, I was asking you that it seems like the race is perhaps narrowing down right now uh, with the votes of 35 out of 160 polling divisions counted. Desanayaka is at 45.33%. He was earlier at 52%, while uh, Sajid Premadasa, who is uh, second in lead, is at 29.13%. Well, there seems to be some technical glitch uh, with our correspondent, Asuni Athola. Well, this is, we're on continuous coverage of the Sri Lankan presidential polls. The countdown to Sri Lanka's election results is what we are tracking right now. As of now, the votes of 35 out of 160 polling divisions have been counted. And the early trends show that NPP's Anura Kumara Desanayake is at 45.33%. Uh, just a short while ago, he was at 52%.
Meanwhile, Sajid Premadasa is at 29.13% and uh, incumbent president Ranil Vikramasinghe is at 15.87%. While these are early trends that we are bringing to you right now, it does perhaps show that the Sri Lankans have not really approved Vikramasinghe's leadership of a fragile economy recovery, but rather they have voted for a change because NPP's Disanayake, NPP party, which has never been at the helm of power, is now emerging as a winner in the Sri Lankan presidential polls. Well, the results uh, we are anticipating to come later today and the results will of course have a bearing on Sri Lanka's foreign policies as well.